Hey everyone, welcome. It's Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Career Girl, and I have my three month old little baby Sienna here. Hi! So, today I have these two here to illustrate a point that today's topic is how to stay ridiculously focused on your goals. And one thing that I'm struggling with is staying focused on my goals because these two cuties are really cute distractions and I love them very much. But um, like you, I have a lot of dreams and goals that I'm also working on. <laughs> so uh, we're going to dive in. These guys are going to go and take a nap. <laughs> All right, so today I'm gonna to teach you three things that are gonna help you stay ridiculously focused on your goals. If you've got a lot of distractions and a lot of things going on, but you still wanna make your goals and dreams happen, then this topic is for you. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to create a list of daily habits. So these might not have anything necessarily to do with your goals, but there are things that are gonna help you stay focused. So for me, I put together my list because right now it's very hard for me to do just little things like reading or writing or exercising or even taking my vitamins. So these are the things that I have written down on my daily habit sheet that I can check off. Now, I do not do all of them. There's about 10 things that I try my hardest to do every single day and it's very, very difficult. So I'm not super hard on myself. Life is crazy busy right now, but if I can do a few of these things every day, then my mindset is a lot more ready to be able to work on my goals because I'm feeding myself really positive things. Like one of the things on my daily habits list is positive affirmations, reading affirmations in the morning, reading affirmations before I go to bed at night. If I can do that, I'm in a much better spot to be able to focus on my goals, to be able to commit to my goals, and I'm gonna make it a priority. So that's the first thing, making that list of daily habits. So the second thing that I want you to do is I want you to know what your top three priorities are. So this is what I do every single week, every single Sunday, I create my weekly plan. And in that weekly plan, I write down what my top three priorities are for that week. So we all have a million things that we could do, that we should do. Um, trust me, my to-do list is out of control right now. So that's why it's really, really important for me to only focus on three things every week. And other things, they might not get done. Like if you send me an email, I'm sorry, but I might not respond to it because I'm working on my top three priorities because they're that important. So in order to be able to reach your goals, you really have to make it a daily habit to be working on those goals, to prioritize those goals because everything else is going to come and try and get in front of you working on those goals. There's going to be a million things. You know, for me right now, it's a baby screaming, uh, a toddler trying to get into the room while we're recording right now. My daughter's walking in. There's a lot of different distractions that are going to keep you from reaching your goals. So if you know what your top three priorities are each week, you'll be much better in a much better shape to reach your goals. Number three, the third thing you need to do to stay ridiculously focused on your goals is to unsubscribe, unfollow, and delete. So this is really important because right now there's so much noise online. There's so many, there's so many people you probably think are your competitors. There's so many people posting daily. There's so many people in your inbox emailing you, right? You've signed up for this and you signed up for that. And there's so much out there. So what I want to make sure that you do is you put those blinders on and you just focus on what you're here to do and your goals. Now, I'm very different than everyone else out there. There are a few different people I follow for inspiration who are women who are doing something very similar to where I want to be in five to 10 years. They follow, I follow them because they inspire me. They, you know, I feel good when I watch their posts on Instagram. I feel good when I get their email newsletters because this is something that I want to create. Like it's very similar, I get inspired by them. Those are the people that you can follow, your models, your role models, people who uplift you and, and, are, and make you positive and excited and inspired about where you're headed. You want to unfollow the people that make you feel jealous and less than and feel like you have to be like them. I used to be like this too. I used to, um, I used to have a coach and I felt like I needed to be doing similar things because I had to be like her and she was giving, um, giving us like training uh, to become like her. 
And in my mind, I thought like, this is the direction I have to be. I have to do things like her. And it just didn't fit me because that's not who I was. I wasn't set up to be the type of coach that she was because I have my own strengths. I have my own personality. I'm unique myself. And so I had to figure out what I wanted my brand to be like and what I wanted my business to be like, which is very different than her business. And that helps me be unique and helps me use my own strengths. So I had to, um, I had to block her. I had to unfollow her. I had to unsubscribe from her for a couple of years so I could get that out of my mind and create my own thing, create my own brand. Hopefully you guys see there's like, I, I feel like there's no one else out exactly doing the same things as Classy Career Girl right now. We try and be very unique in what we post and what we're doing. And that's what I want for you to do to do as well. I want you to create your own brand that is unique to you, that uses your own strengths and um, your own personality and your own experiences because that is how you will stand out and succeed in the marketplace and that's how you will reach your goals as well. To summarize, how you can stay ridiculously focused on your goals is number one, making a list of small habits that you're gonna do every single day that's gonna feed your mind, make you more positive, like affirmations and exercise. So those are the things that are gonna get you ready to be able to focus on your goals. Number two, you wanna focus on your top three priorities. So every week, get in a system where you create your top three priorities so you know what to focus on that week. And then number three, unsubscribe, unfollow, and delete those people who are not positively lifting you up online and are making you feel jealous. So instead, follow those people who are inspiring, who are keeping it positive, and who are uplifting you, and who are inspiring you to become more of who you are and where you want to be someday. So I hope this training helped you. If you want our free 90 day planner that can walk you through the steps to stay focused on these goals, including a 90 day plan, a monthly plan, and a weekly to-do list, then come grab our free 90 day planner. It's at www.classycareergirl.com forward slash free plan. And you can also find that in our link in our profile at Classy Career Girl as well on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching and please share with us if you uh, have listened to this, if you found it helpful, um, please send me a DM on Instagram. I'm always there to respond to you guys. So have a good day, everyone. Bye.